It's in marble and slate, and it's in terrible condition. You can see, looks in here, look. You can see this one has gone completely. It's screwing back and it's all bent. It's got a movement, but it's long since operated and it's rusty. So this is the movement and you get a selection of these hands, look. Externally, the clock will work perfectly, keep great time and look beautiful. <laughs> It is my hands are freezing cold. Yeah. Are they? Uh, so we're going to do. We're going to take it apart. So the first job to do there is Anna's just taking the the movement out. I'm going to find a dish. We think the best thing to do first is to take the um, take the movement out, protect that, because we are going to save the movement in case we ever want to put it back in or we can get it repaired. But we're not forgetting it was five euros. Yeah. Assembling it just to see how that might look. Just mess my hands on. Okay. Well, you want the hands in the face, but let me just show you that. This guy, we're not throwing it away. No, we keep it, yeah? Yeah. Look at that. Tiny tick then. Ah. It's like the. Seized. Yeah. I thought it looked a bit corroded, didn't it? That's they're not moving. That's why it's tight. That's the, these bits are all right. The rest of it, that bit's stuck. So the first job we've got to do is to take the hands off so we can get the movement away from the face. Is it rusted? Yeah, look. And it's rusted in the hole. Because, because the little black pin goes into a tiny hole in there. Yep. And you pull that out so you can take the hands off. Yep. And it's rusted. Yeah. Splinter that's been in. I'm out. pushing now. If you pull there the we are. Out. It's pushed. There she is. Now you got to see if you can get the cut from the. Uh... Where's the. There you go. Yeah. It's got to come off. Ah, right. sorry, you're right. That's the next bit now is to take. We'll just spray some WD in these little screws. Got these little grub screws here, look, which hold the face on. We want to see if that drops the mechanism out. Okay. So while Anna's doing that, I'm just going to take off these these things. There's a bolt on the inside. So this is the. Um, Part of the trim and you can just see inside there there's the square bolt for that trim it's obviously moved about quite a lot and the same with the top one there for this just there and then there's the same on that side so let's just take those out tea. you're having a cup of tea there we go look so that's got that out <coughs> Drill out that last one. That's okay. So we've got the movement, we've got the clock face. So the movement's going to go away for the time being, well, for good. And we've got the clock face, which looks like uh, it's tin and that to me looks like it's enamel. Yeah, it's got it's enamel because just here, look, you can see all the damage where the key's gone in and missed and hit the face over the years, so let's give that a bit of a tighten that up. You can get this movement in through the middle there. Do you know that's really close, look. That is so close. 
Look how close that is. That is perfect. It's actually threading. That is threading in there as if it was made for it. I won't screw it any further because I don't want to damage it, but um, that's really good news. Because I imagine in the kit it'll have some lock nuts. I imagine so we can position that up and then put an. a lot nut to it okay so that's that piece I'm going to put that movement to one side because we don't need that anymore as I said it's beautiful bevel glass that I'll put some WD down there just to free that up and we can put that to one side Okay, so that's that bit, that's good. Square nuts, unfortunately. So I can't get a uh, socket on there. It's gonna have to be a bit manual. Maybe that's loose enough now to do that by hand. Yep. That's nice, that's come out lovely. Do the other side. A little bit tight, just grip it there with these pliers. That is maybe a little bit more the old magic sauce. Finally, look, we've got these little legs to come out. Now, I can't see, I can't see how they're secured on the inside. So I'm hoping there's a thread in there and not a nut. Because if there's a nut, we're never going to get that back in again. I hope we look good. That's the back leg. There we are. You see that was the original colour. Bit of cutting compound, metal polish actually, but it's it's a cutting compound so it's got like an aggressive, very fine grit in it. Does that work on faces? <laughs> they give you an exfoliation? Yeah. Chemical peel? Kind of. Chemical scratch by, I think, without a buffing mop. We'll put a buffing mop on it. Look at that. It's not very shiny, but... So that's... Uh... See that it's a little bit smoother and shinier, but it's certainly nothing like that. Okay, so the next job to do is. These are on each side, if you remember, and this is on the crown, on the top. But um, they are in quite a state. That one's not so bad. But you can see they're twisted. They're quite soft metal, but I don't think it is brass. I think it might be some sort of lead die casting, but I'm not sure. It won't polish up. Um, you can see, look, this one is this one is much worse off. See how twisted that is. Let me just get that. There we are. Look. So they need flattening out and repainting. This one has got some marble or slate in the top, which is cleaned up. Anna's cleaned that really nicely. Um, but you can see that that again is is the metalwork is all bent. Not only is it bent uh, that way, 
but it's also you can see that those this is the clock has probably fallen on this side it's had an impact that way so it's bent them up so we probably need to straighten those out this is a piece of it's come from Portsmouth Dockyard it's a piece of, piece of thin armour plating from an old warship. I use it as a kind of flat surface to do all this kind of stuff on. Okay, so we're in the spray shop and we've got all of this to spray, look. And we've got these pieces here. Well, actually, look. Keeping the drafts out. Yeah. And this is hopefully so the clock face will sit in. It's got to be dead square, don't forget. I'm just looking to see if it'll stay in. Ah. Perfect. Awesome. So these are all the component parts, all ready to go back together. All bar the hands. The hands on the face of the clock are the only things we've got to do. And of course, we've got the clock case there for it all to go back into. Do I have any I've got all of them underneath there. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah. There we go. So let's stick that in the cluster. Oh, that's nice and square, isn't it? That's lovely and square. Okay. Next bit is the side pieces. These should be a bit more straightforward, shouldn't they? Ready for tightening? Close. Holes. Otherwise, those holes are going to be. Put that on there. That's good. That's good. Tighten up on that. Okay. Yep. That's it. Making that. Get rid of the wind. 